Hi, I'd like to take you through the milling process here at Feederbrook Farm. Step one, pin draft in the comb top. The fiber is spritzed down with a lanolin solution to cut down on static electricity, then fed into the machine to start it. The purpose of pin drafting the fiber is to make it thinner and easier to spin. The fiber is then threaded through the machine with the aid of a small hook. This process takes approximately two minutes. For every one foot of fiber going into the machine, five feet of fiber come out of the machine. The fiber falls into a bin in the machine in preparation for spinning. Step two, spinning the single. First, the fiber is gently placed over top of the frame of the spinner. After all of the fiber is placed over the frame, it's ready to spin. The fiber is fed through the first three rollers at the top and wraps around the bottom one. The brake is applied to the bobbin to stop it from spinning. The leader, which is attached to the bobbin, is then threaded through the traveler and catches the fiber on the bottom roller. The whole process of spinning the single on eight heads takes approximately one hour and 30 minutes. Step three, plying your single. The bobbins with the single spun yarn are placed in front and in back. Uh, since the machine is tight up against the wall, it's hard to reach behind the entire thing to get to everything in the back. The singles are threaded through the bottom roll and the speed adjusted to get the perfect twist. The two singles then are wrapped around the bobbin and placed on the spindle. The process of setting up and plying um, all 16 spun singles takes approximately an hour and 40 minutes.
Step number four, skeining off your plied yarn. Each revolution is two yards around. The yarn is then cut and tied in three places. For yarn that is going to be dyed, the knots are tied very loosely so you don't end up with patchy white spots where the knots are. Okay. 